three of the Epsom Stu Handover, the exterior. So we're just starting here at the habitation door. Um, you do have an electric step here, which your button is just here on the by the seat on the left when you go in. So all you have to do is keep your finger on the button. Don't let go. Keep it on until the step's fully out. If you forget to take the step in before driving off, once you turn the ignition over, you will hear a bit of an alarm and in your wing mirrors, you'll be able to see if the step has gone in on its own. Now, the doors here are central locking, but you can also manually close them. If you wanted to manually close, lock the door, you would have to use this key, or you could just press the middle button on the fob. And that is locked. Next alone is your toilet cassette. So to open this, it's this key here. Open it, and then what you do is you push both in at the same time. So, and your toilet cassette's there. Now to bring this out, what you have to do is lift up the blue bit here. And your toilet cassette is out there then. You also have the handle just there to be able to wheel it to the second tank. To empty this toilet cassette, you pull this round and screw and you can pull that away into the septic tank as well. That's locked there now. Next bit along is your gas bar point. Now to open this, we have to slide this up. You will have to cut off this cable tie and plug in your adapter to be able to use the gas barbecue point here from your gas bottles on the other side. At the rear, this is your locker. Part of the, you have another lock on your side. This is a rear garage. So all you have to do is use this key again, open them up, push them in and release it down. And you've got the rear here. At the top is where your reverse camera is, just up there, and underneath the back end is where you've got a spare tyre. This side is your other locker to be able to open it up and store any items in there for yourself. You've got your fridge vents just here, and your gas locker just here. Again, all you have to do to open this one is to open the locks up with this key again, push them both in at the same time to release the door. You can fit two six kilo propane bottles in there as well. Now just below that you've got a blue pipe just here. This is where to release your fresh water from. So all you have to do is turn that nozzle on the end and it will release all the water from your fresh. That's to do when you winterize it. The next bit along, this is your fresh water where to fill up. Now all you have to do is slide that up, a hose pipe will then fit in there so you, for you to fill up the fresh water tank. To know when it's full you can either check the control panel or there will be an overflow underneath. Now to lock that, all you have to do is use this key here and you pop that in and turn and now that's locked. Next bit along, so this is where you hook up. Again, slide up, put your hook up cable in and that will just slide back down once you're done. Underneath there though, you've got the grey pipe just there, that's to release your wastewater. So again, you have to turn the nozzle on the end in order to release all the wastewater when winterising the van and when coming off the campsite. To release the bonnet on here, all you have to do is use the driving key, pop that in, you turn it one way to release the bonnet to come up and then you turn it the other way to pull the bonnet up. That's the end of part three of the handover.